Hi, my name is Mortomati, hope you're doing good, hope your day is great, and stay because you are going to discover how Airflow schedules data pipelines. So without further ado, let's get started. And the first thing that you need to know is the parameter start date. The start date defines the date at which your DAG starts being scheduled. And you have to define the start date at the DAG level in your DAG object with a daytime object. So basically you define that your DAG has the start date the 1st of January 2022, then it will start being scheduled the 1st of January 2022. In addition, if you define that start date and you run your DAG the 5th of January 2022, automatically all the non-triggered DAG runs between the 5th and the 1st will be triggered by the scheduler. The other parameter that you need to know is the schedule interval. And the schedule interval defines the frequency at which your DAG is scheduled. Every 10 minutes, every day, every hour, and so on. It's up to you, and that expects a cron expression. If you don't know how to define a cron expression, take a look at the website CronTap Guru. This is truly helpful. Don't try to guess. Cron, very hard to understand. Next, you have the end date and you don't have to define it, but if you want to say, hey, my DAG should stop being scheduled at the given date, then you can do that with the end date. And again, it expects a daytime object like with the start date. The next question is, how do you define those parameters in your DAG object? Well, like this, pretty simple. You define the start date with a daytime object, a static date, right? This is important. Don't use daytime.now, it may confuse airflow. And then you have the schedule interval, as you can see, with at daily. This is something that you need to know. Airflow brings you some preset cron expressions, like at daily to run your DAG every day at midnight, at monthly to run your DAG once in a month, at weekly to run your DAG once every week, and so on. So take a look at this. You also have the at once in order to run your DAG once. Just before I was talking about DAG runs, you know, the non-triggered DAG runs that get automatically triggered. Well, what is exactly a DAG run? It's nothing more than an instance of your DAG. So when the scheduler triggers your DAG, you obtain a DAG run for a specific period of time with a data interval start and a data interval end. That's what you can see here. So if you run your DAG for the 1st of January 2022, then the data interval start will be the 1st of January 2022, and the data interval end will be the 2nd of January 2022. It is as simple as that. And just below, especially if you use Airflow prior to uh, the 2.2 version, I think, the data interval start equals to the logical date, which is equal to the execution date. Okay, let me show you exactly how does it work. There is one thing that you need to always remember is that the scheduler runs a DAG after the start date or the last time that your DAG was triggered plus the schedule interval. Okay, keep this in mind, truly, truly important. So what does it mean concretely? Well, let's imagine that you have a data pipeline that runs every 10 minutes starting with the date, the 1st of January, 2022 at 10 a.m. So at 10 a.m., nothing happens yet. Indeed, you have the start date or the data interval start. The scheduler waits 10 minutes as defined in the schedule interval. And then it is at 10 and 10 a.m. that the scheduler runs the first DAG run. And that's what you can see here. So for the first DAG run, you end up with a data interval start equals to the 10 a.m. and the data interval end equals to 10 and 10 a.m. Same thing for the second DAG run. Again, the scheduler waits 10 minutes as defined in the schedule interval. And it is at 10.20 a.m. that it runs the second DAG run. And for that DAG run, you have a data interval start at 10 and 10 a.m and a data interval end at 10.20 a.m. Same thing for the third DAG run. Again, the scheduler waits 10 minutes. At 10.30 a.m., it runs. And then for that one, you get the data interval start at 10.20 a.m. and the data interval end at 10.30 a.m. It is truly as simple as that. If you use Airflow prior to 2.2, again, I think it's the version, the data interval start is equal to the execution date that you can see in your DAGs. Okay, but keep in mind, a DAG is triggered after the start date or the last time that it was triggered plus the schedule interval. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about Airflow. And don't hesitate to take a look at my course just in the description below if you want to dive more into the details of Airflow and all the possibilities that it has. Wish you a wonderful day. Cheers.